Hey people, this is Iron Man Fan 147 showing you um, a tutorial on how to make an elevator and blender, I guess. I guess that's what somebody wanted. I, I don't know. Anyways. Anyways, um, yeah. Um, get your character all set up, like, I'm sure if you've seen my other tutorials, you know what I'm talking, you, you know how to do that. Um, you know, just make a plane and set your cube on it. Get rid of your camera. Keep the light source, why not? Add a camera. Um, put it right above the cube. Pairing it to the cube, that's right clicking on the camera and then right clicking on the cube. And then press control P. Hold shift while you click on both of them. First the camera, then the cube, and then while you're holding shift, and then press control P to pair it. So now I can move my camera freely, but I can move the cube. Oh, that's strange. Oh, whoops, I, I parented it to the... I parented it to the um, ground. That was smart. Anyways, yeah, parent it to the cube. So where you move the cube, it should move with the the camera should move with it, but the camera will still move freely. So yeah. And now you're gonna want the cube to move. You know, actor dynamic. I don't like rigid body actually for these type of things. Um, add properties, bounds, box, um, add a property, make it string. I just like string, I guess, I don't know. Add, add, and add. We're only going to make this go one way because it's a very simple tutorial. Uh, add a key. Instead of always here, should look like this. You should change that to keyboard. Click on right next to where it says key and add a key. Any key you want because it doesn't matter. But I'm just going to put up arrow because that's what it's that's you know normally what you would think of when you go forward. Now, I think it's the over here where it says motion on the under actuators and under motion. Uh, it says D location, D lock actually. Um I think it's the middle one at a 10. Let's test that. So now when I go into game mode. I don't know what's up with my computer. It's going kind of slow today. Hello. Um. Yeah. There we go. Now up arrow makes it go forward. Okay. So I'll fall. That's what we wanted. I don't know what's the rum what's the problem with this computer is something wrong. Speech for kids, what the crap? You go away. I don't want you here. I'm gonna pause this real quick. Um. See if that helped any. <laughs> um. I don't know what's up with this. It's not letting me do much of anything. Well, anyways, add another plane. You want it to be on the same level. Make it a little bit bigger than the cube. That way, it'll be sure to hit it. And put it over here. Kind of. So it's in front. You got like right on the edge here. That's good enough. Um, then you're gonna add. Let's add a color. Um, let's make it red. I'm gonna make it red. I'm gonna make the plane a green because I like green. 
and I'm going to make my cube blue. That way you can see everything. And now what you're going to do is you're going to right click on your elevator, I guess. That's what it is. And make sure you're on frame 1. Displays current frame of animation. Click to change. That thing. Um, Hit I, where it is right now. Location, rotation, ro rotation and scale. And then change your frame to 30. Say OK. And drag it up a little bit. And then you're going to hit I, location, rotation, scale. You know. So this way, if we go back to 1 and you hit Alt A. Oh, uh, wow. I apologize, this is going super slow. Okay. So there you go. It goes up. When I hit press escape to get out of your um, animation test, which is Alt A, by the way. Alt A. Escape. Alt A. Escape. Okay. Anyways. So now, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your logic tab, or if you want to press F4. Don't do anything with the actor bounds or properties, anything with that. Just add, add, and add. And let's um, connect them all. And change always to collision. Now click back onto your cube that's moving. That's you, I guess, your character. Um, change the property name to sup, because sup is a cool word. And if you have it in capital letters, make sure to put it in capital letters over here. So I'm back on the elevator, and where it says property, put in sup, because that's what we named it. And now, when it collides with the cube, it's going to... Let's change motion to IPO, and start frame... Change that to one and end frame, or what it just says aim end. Change that to thirty. So now, um, let's test this out. So I'm pressing P to play. So I should be able to go over here and touch it, and it should go up, and it continues to go up. Wee, little trampoline, fun. Anyways, but here's something cool you can do if you under collision. Where you, I'm on, I'm selected my elevator here. This, this thing. Wee, um, that thing under where it says collision. You should add another sensor and change always to keyboard. Make that space add a key space and connect that to your first controller don't add anything else so now I should be able to press P to play or to test it out I guess and go over here and notice when I'm touching it it doesn't do anything but when I hit space it goes up now, and now if I press space again it will go very to the very bottom and do it over. That's because I have to be touching it to do that. So, now let's actually go to frame 30, and now 40, let's go to frame 40, and then I, location, rotation, scale, and then let's go to 70, frame 70, and bring it all the way back down to your plane, that's your ground. Hit I, location, rotation, scale. So now, when you go to frame 1 and you hit Alt-A, you go up for 30 frames and down for 30 frames. But you stay up for 10 frames. And here, let's change end at 30 frames to end at 70 frames. And now if I press P to play, I'll be over here. I can press space. I'm pressing space and it's not going up. I have to touch it and press space. So now it goes down. And yeah, so that's how it works. But if you wanted to do something kind of, I mean, you can do anything. You can rotate it at a different frame. You can do a lot of different things with this. That's why it's fun. 
I guess. So, I think I'm up in the air. I don't know. I don't know where I am. I can't see anything. So, hey, that, anyways, that's pretty much how you make a um, an elevator and blender. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you.